How old were we when we were in eighth grade? Twelve. Wait, so why was your kick drum sliding? Because you didn't have a carpet? No, because I kicked like a motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if I remember walking out on stage. I remember the curtain opening up and it being like the loudest noise and not registering that it was a crowd. It was just this loud, thunderous noise as the curtain kind of came open. Wake up, dreaming, crooked days left behind. These closed eyes The places that we've been Footsteps and handprints The more we've yet to see The more I find It's all we have it's so good so far It's not over till we're done Oh, we can climb this, it's fine. Is it electrified? Yeah. Ah! We've only just begun I'm in the middle of the longest fight I've ever had in all my life And it ain't over till we've won ah, I love you, too. Well, I was all in We played a cover of Eric Clapton's Wonderful Tonight and we did kind of a, like a reggae rock version and in a lot of ways that kind of inspired the beginning, the roots kind of of our sound. And then we played Porch by Pearl Jam, which was our favorite song off of 10. And Pearl Jam, without a doubt, inspired us to start a band. to do this my whole, like, since I was <laughs> a little kid. When the band started, it was always a dream to do this for a living. When we graduated high school and went to college, we had our parents' support, but I don't know. I guess every once in a while, there was always that nagging kind of thing in the back of my mind, like, you should get a real job. But fast forward through the years, we've gotten to play some venues that I only dreamed about. I mean, we've played Red Rocks a couple years in a row. We've played Madison Square Garden, you know, a couple times. We've been able to do some pretty amazing things with the band through charity, supporting the troops, some experiences like that when we went overseas and saw things firsthand. Kind of put things into perspective a little bit more. You know, you weren't just making music. I think there was more of a purpose behind it. And uh, ever since then, you know, I've never, never had that nagging. You should get a real job ever again. These last couple days at home have been some of the best days I've had in a long time because we came from, from Rockville, Maryland. We wrote a lot of songs about the world. We've gone out and we've traveled the world. And now we're back here in Rockville, Maryland. And most of the guys in the band don't live here anymore. We have family, we have roots, so we come back here. But um, to have come kind of full circle, it's just awesome. So good, so far, all we have. 